Welcome to our third world tour. We start Papua New Guinea today at Gurney Airport, AYGN, a far eastern end, if you like, foot of the country. And we're heading to Jackson's International, AYPY. It's almost 200 mile trip. So this has been mainly a scenic trip. We're going to look over some mountains, fly, have some fun. There are other areas around here to explore, but um, no airports, nothing. So we're going to head uh, up to these mountains and then turn up, turn left. Just There's a whole region of mountains coming up. We're going to fly along them. It's going to be fun. Archer Airport. Turn the RPM to 24, so we don't overheat the engine. Go. It's a little bit hot. Okay, we're not, but obviously not trimmed very well yet. Wind should have is affecting us, but uh, no, it shouldn't be throwing us up into a 2,000 foot climb. So let's get this stabilised. Maybe that's not quite possible right now. We have uh, up to us in the map. I want to fix my outside views, but while we're bobbing around like this, that's be dangerous. go into the valleys or we can climb a little bit. Let's just climb a little bit. Oh, I don't know, that looks pretty nasty up there. Doesn't look too great down here either.
We are going to climb for safety. I will be wary of oxygen. Okay, I want to explore this mountain up here, so we're going to turn everything off. Well, when I say turn everything off, obviously I mean turn autopilot off. It's not quite so high now. Yeah, it's breaking the, uh, the wire. Shouldn't be using this much power. So, let's reduce that. It'd be cheap to can fix this in flight, or well, we can. Let's fix it in flight until I do it again, okay? Because I don't want to be over stressing it. Oop, there we go into. And keep climbing because I know there's a mountain ahead. Not sensible to descent now. Climbing. Watching my speed and nature side. Wow, we have hit some clouds. I wonder where the fun would start. I don't want to bleed up too much speed, we're doing a, that was a favourite to climb, but to 14,500 feet. Now we're descending, this is not part of the plan. Okay, I'm going to climb until we're out of the problem. I have to adjust our rate of climb by watching the speed, as I can't see any other indicator. Whoa, Whoa okay. Interesting. Got the follow back. That's good. I want to use it to get out of this. Uh... Mist, watching our temperatures. And we didn't. Some uh, unexpected climbing. Just in where the ceiling is. Don't need to be wrecking our engine and gliding into an airport up the mile away. Well, it's pea soup out here. Sending, okay. That's situational awareness. That's uh, 101. <laughs> like, watch the instruments. How high we got to go? We're doing an IFR descent into uh, Jackson. Eighteen thousand. In case of anything could happen, if you if you just fly into it. Oh, there's a cloud break. I see blue skies. Wow. Because of this cloud cover, I will look up the ILS chart for our destination. Even if we don't need it when we land, it might help us when we descend through these clouds. This is anything other than a warbird 
I'll be calculating my descent rates and uh, getting it spot on, but we don't need to release so much. We can just in VF bar conditions near the ground. Well, so much for my mountain flying. But best laid plans of mice and men. Should be intercepting the VOR roughly over the coastline. I'm switching between like 1,000 and 6,000 uh, descent here. Uh, the trim is acting interesting. But I want to get through the clouds and we know there's no mountains below us. And I'm climbing. Should be breaking through the clouds pretty soon. 5,000 feet. But it goes down to 4,000. I will be using the ILS. I see some land. There we go. Just about make it out now. I'm going to see the coast. We need to make it out, but right ahead of us. Are we steamed up? That can't be it. Could be. I think we're up in the canopy. I think it's got to be uh, steam up here. Two thousand feet. You know, we should bear this sea stuff. Yeah. That's better. Okay, we close the canopy again. Now we can see where we're going. Airport has got to see us pretty soon. Come on. Now. 32 right. Please. Come on, BOR, let's just let's force it on. Let's just try and turn in and turn the ILS on. You should be able to see the one pretty soon, anyway. I see a flickering, there it is. I'm going to try, as I've said before, the two-wheel landing and drop the speed up instead of my three-pointers I've been doing. Got a massive three-pointers, but I'm going to go on recommendation of by the experts who I trust, which is wonderful that you get people you can talk to tell you how you're supposed to do it. Okay. I want to slow down so I put the gear down. The ILS kicks in at any moment. ILS is now going, so I need the gear down. Okay. Only slightly over speed. It's a good long runway to practice the two-wheel landing. And the wind is not too bad either. I did a 
sweet formula one out. No, okay. I need to practice that. I'm going to park right outside the uh, airport here, so... So I do, I like to park where the uh, airport sign is, one Ah, uh, maybe not. Well, there's Port Moresby Airport. We're, okay, we're not a jet. Let's go and park where we're supposed to. 